seconds and counting. Hello everyone, welcome back to another Clutch Entertainment video. Today, we're going to be talking about the Houston Astros Game 4. They tied up this series, and they're making this one very uh, dicey for the Texas Rangers fans. Um, it was just a great showing today. Um, Arkady didn't really pitch that well today. He didn't, he didn't get out of the third, but the bullpen completely locked it down. I mean, Hunter Brown was electric out of the bullpen today. Montero, Maton, Stanek, they all did their job, and that's just what, exactly what you want to see from the Astros team that should have a better bullpen in this series. They have the pitching hand on the, um, the Rangers, and that's where they should be able to win. And I mean, if they if their offense produces like they did today, there's no reason why this team won't win. I mean, if we go to look at the box score from today, um, Jordan wasn't even, he didn't even do all that much. Like, well... He did he, two for four with three RBIs, but in Jordan standards, that's not a lot. Um, Altuve had, you know, an Altuve game. He had his he had two doubles, a walk, a single. And Dubon had another two-hit day. He had a pretty good day, just two singles, but, I mean, did what he does. Um, Bregman had that triple in the first. It was massive. And then he had two walks, which nice to see. Jordan is Jordan. I mean, there's not really anything else you could say. Two for four with three RBIs, sack fly. Abreu with the big blast and then a walk. I mean, he didn't do too much. Or he had two walks, actually. But he didn't do too much. But that's a, actually, I take that back. He was huge because he had that. I want to say he um, he stole a base. He tar he got the double play. I mean, he was awesome today. Kyle Tucker, again, just str Tucker is just struggling, man. Um... He did have one that he hit real, He hit pretty hard. I mean, he had a couple that he hit pretty hard. But overall, it's just been a struggle for Tucker. Hopefully, he uh, you know gets back up to speed and can um, get it going because he feels like basically the only guy that's not gotten it going so far. Uh, Chaz, two-run homer, walk. Good day for him as well. Pena, I mean, he did enough. Uh, I want to say he um, he got on base twice. Um, I mean, he was just okay. He did, he did his job. Um, but really, for me, the MVP of this game was Hunter Brown. Just the dominance that he showed out of the bullpen, and he just locked it down for those three innings was just so massive, um, especially with how Arkady pitched and just didn't pitch all that great. Hunter Brown coming in and just completely holding it down was so huge. Uh, Andrew Heaney was terrible. <laughs> the Astros just jumped all over him. Uh, Texas lineup didn't do too much. I mean, they had a couple big, you know, Adoles Garcia homer. I want to say uh, Corey Seager had a homer. It was a good day for the lineup, I guess. I mean, they were okay, but the Astros still have the more top tier talent, I think, and they have the better pitching. They should win this series, I think. Um, tomorrow, we got Justin Verlander and um, Jordan Montgomery, the, the rematch of the game one. Uh, both of those guys pitched really well in game one. So my hope is that we can get and kind of figure out Montgomery because they, we had no success against Montgomery the first time around. And, uh, JV was really good game one too. So hopefully he can continue. He can get to Montgomery a little bit and take this lead going back home. And he only got to win one of them at home, which, you know, <laughs> sounds crazy. It seems like you should do that. But with how the Astros have been playing, who knows? At, or at least at home. But, Again, this should be, this is a series I think the Astros should win, and I think they they hopefully will win, but it's just going to come down to how they perform at home, because they're going to have to go back home. They have to play another game at home, if not two, and they're going to have to at least win one of those to win this series, which, I mean, you would hope that they'd win one at home, but, like, they've been so bad at home that it's not really, it, it sounds crazy, but, you know, we got to just, we got to win at home. There's no excuses to not win at home. I know that the team doesn't like the batter's eye, but they're both looking at the same batter's eye. So there's just, teams have got it, the team has got to hit better at home. But they have the upper hand in this series now. They've just taken home field back, and they have their eighth going tomorrow. So, do, so does Texas, but... They have the advantage of, you know, they have a fresher bullpen. Neither Abreu or Montero were used today, or Neris, which is massive. You get to save your three main guys out of your pen. You also have a long reliever in, like, France still available. So you've got a lot of wiggle room in that bullpen. 
that maybe Texas doesn't have because Texas bullpen isn't as good as ours. In the end of the day, October usually always comes down to who can pitch better, and I think that's where the Astros have the upper hand in this series. So if they can just outpitch Texas, you know, get some timely hits, they're going to win this series, I think. And I think that's just the key going forward of how to win and win at home because they got to win two out of these last three, which means you're going to have to win a game at home. And the, you know, Framber or Javier, which is going to be the two home starters, one of, the, one of those guys has really got to pitch well, and the Astros have got to get timely runs. Got to get, got to get guys on when Jordan is coming up. That's huge, too. With Jordan coming up to the plate, which they did a lot better of today, you got to get guys on base for Jordan to be able to bat home. Um, and, you know, if they work around him, Abreu's been hitting well, so you got that going for you. Just... Overall, the top guys in the lineup have to get on base, and they've been doing that lately, but at home, they just weren't doing it, and that's got to ha- continue to happen. So, hope you all enjoy the kind of recap, preview of the next game. Uh, if you all like the Astros content, let me let us know. We'll continue to make this content and get it out for you all, and 